With help, lift the board into position. Fasten the board to the wall. Ensure proper backing or support is in place and ensure the system is level. Connect the PEX loops in your floor to the manifold. Be sure to identify the supply and return pairs. This can be easily checked by blowing into one end of the pipe and finding its mate. Cut the pipe to length, leaving a bit extra. Slide the nut and split ring onto the pipe. Ream the pipe and grease the manifold adapter O-rings. Thread the nut onto the manifold by hand. Repeat for all supply and return pipes. Snug the manifold adapter nut with a wrench, but be careful not to over tighten. Open the manifold valves with an Allen key under the hex cap on the manifold. It will be fully open when it is flush with the top of the threaded seat. With the Allen key, close any unused manifold ports and cap the open ports. Open the manifold valves by turning the white caps counterclockwise. Close any unused manifold valves by turning the white caps clockwise. Open the ball valves on the system to allow filling. Open air vents on the manifold and main air eliminator. A common way to fill the system is through the garden hose thread on the bottom of the Kalefi dirt separator. Drill pumps, utility pumps, fill pumps, etc are all great ways to pump fluid into the system. Note, be sure to open the valve on the dirt separator before starting to fill the system. We suggest diluting the glycol to 50-50 with water to reduce viscosity for the fill process. The final fill rate is usually around 30 to 35% glycol, depending on your application. Fill until all the glycol is in the system. Note, be careful not to exceed 30 PSI while using a pump to fill. Check for leaks while filling. Once the glycol is in the system, top up the supply by connecting your water supply connection to the half-inch ball valve on the board. This passes through a backflow preventer and a pressure-reducing valve. With a flathead screwdriver, set the pressure-reducing valve to 15 PSI. Your air vents should still be open they should remain open for the filling of the system. Have your electrician temporarily wire the pump so it can plug into a wall outlet or extension cord to start circulating water throughout the loops and eliminating the air that remains in the system. Close all of the loops except one and bleed the air out of one loop at a time. Using the wire on the pump your electrician installed for you, plug it in to start the pump. If water isn't moving, try open and closing the valves near the circulator. It is also suggested to carefully open the silver screw cap on the face of the pump and switch from low to high speed on the circulator. Once you've bled the air out of each loop individually, open all loops and allow it to circulate until you're positive all air has been bled and you have good circulation. The system will run quiet when all air has been purged. Your qualified electrician will connect the R and W terminals on the thermostat to the W1 and C terminals on the boiler circuit board. Note, if using a different thermostat than what is typically supplied, refer to its user manual for proper installation. Check for leaks. Your boiler is now ready to have the main power connected by the electrician. All thermostats, zone controllers, and the optional outdoor sensor can now be connected. Note, if your boiler is 15 kilowatts or larger, set the multi-fuel switch on the front of the boiler to electric. Depending on the volume of water in the system, it is normal for electric boilers to heat up slowly over time. You will not see temperature come up instantly, but rather gradually over time. Thank you for choosing Heat Innovations.